Okay. Hello everybody, it's Tom again and I'm back here on YouTube to talk about how to set up a three position switch on a transmitter so that you can set that switch for safe mode for in AX3X or no gyros. And this, of course, if you're familiar with models, pertains to E-flight airplanes. Uh, now, the reason I'm making this video is I had a bad experience a year ago with a Timber X that I moved an AR-637TA into from another airplane, tried to program it, didn't get it right, and on the Maiden, it crashed and crashed badly. It was totaled out. So I did buy more models after that. I've been a really good customer for the local hobby shop and for Horizon Hobby. In fact, I just ordered a new Timber X uh, to replace the one I lost last year because it was on sale today for $80 off on the Horizon site. So uh, anyway, uh, all the airplanes that I bought since then have been bind and fly. So. I didn't have to worry about doing any more programming. That is until, uh, almost all the airplanes, until I bought a sailplane that I could not get with uh, as a bind and fly. I had to buy it at a PNP and move a receiver into it. So remembering what happened to that Timber X and having read on some websites about other people who have had similar problems, I decided I darn well better learn how to program an AR-637TA. Now that's the version that's locked from the factory. And it has relatively little flexibility in terms of being able to program it through your transmitter. Uh, in order to fully program an AR-637TA, you have to plug it into a computer, go to the Spectrum site, and reload the firmware on it then that unlocks it. And I've done that with the turbo timber that I put a 637 uh, TA in and it worked out really, really well. But going back to this sailplane, that was the first time that I had tried to reprogram a 637 TA. And when I first installed it, before I unlocked it, I turned on safe in that little sailplane, and when I pointed the nose down, the elevator went down. Uh-oh. Pointed the nose up, and the elevator went up. And then I remembered that when before I turned on safe, I had tested the elevator, and it was reversed. So I went in to my NX-8 and reversed that servo, so that it would move in the proper direction. That is when I pointed the uh, pull back on the stick, the elevator would go up, push forward on the stick, the elevator goes down. Then I turned on safe mode, and when I lowered the nose, the elevator went down. When I raised the nose, the elevator went up. Well, that's obviously not gonna be a stable situation. And AX3X does the same thing. If it doesn't work in safe, it's not going to work in AX, AX3X either. It's just two different uh, modes of an autopilot run by a gyro. So I started digging into a couple of videos on YouTube, which I will link to this uh, to the description to this video on how to program that 637 TA which is, as I mentioned, locked. So you first you have to unlock it, which means you're going to need a special cable that plugs into it and then plugs into a PC. You get on the Spectrum site and you download the latest firmware for that receiver. And in the process, it unlocks it so that you can now custom program it. But you darn well better know what you're doing before you do that. And it is the first time through. It is not intuitive. It's not easy. But uh, the videos that I will link to below will describe how to do it. So I recently purchased another model, a Conchendo, that was a bind and fly. It had 637TA and it already configured for the airplane. But I wanted to manually be able to select 
safe AX, 3X only, and all gyros off in it. And I would suggest this isn't too bad of an idea, uh, even for a bind and fly model. And I would certainly do this mandatory for anything, any model that I have reprogrammed uh, so that I have the option of turning off those gyros if they don't work right on the Maiden. So I'm going to show you uh, using the uh, Concendo that I just bought behind me to uh, how to set up an NX-8 or any of the, the modern uh, spectrum trans, uh, transmitters that have forward programming in them. So let's uh, get over here behind me and power up that airplane. And we'll do that right now. Okay. Transmitter is off. Airplane is powered up. Oh, let's see here. I don't need that in there. Let's put the canopy on. Okay, I have transmitter powered off. Power it up. So, so what you just heard was the battery alarm going off. This uh, little guy has got uh, telemetry in it and one of the settings you can set for sounds is if you put a battery in it that's not fully charged and this one isn't. That's handy to know before you take off because I had my mall out uh, about the third flight with it and I picked up the wrong battery off the table that I had set it up on and the battery was only about half charged and two minutes later end of that flight I was looking for a place to land and luckily I found one and it wasn't damaged. So anyway, uh, I now have this airplane set up so that with this B switch here, let me turn the volume back up. ESC 12.0 volts, 0 amps, 68 Fahrenheit, volume 95. So manual mode. That's with the B switch up, gyros are off. Stability mode. That's AX3X. Safety switch on. And that's safe mode, or safety on. So let's take the airplane. We're going to arm AS3X by turning on the motor and turning off the motor. So. So in manual mode, the gyros are inactive. Stability mode. Now the gyros are working at the pre-programmed rate that Horizon Hobby slash E-Flight has determined as appropriate for this model. So now let's put safety switch on. And the gyros are working correctly. Can't see it, but I can see that the elevator is moving correctly. Uh, apparently, they don't have a lot of yaw gain built in. So now I'm going to turn the transmitter off and let's see if it goes into fail safe mode. Okay, so. This is fail safe, and if I put it into a left turn, you can see that the ailerons do go to neutral. If I go past that 20 degree bank, they start bringing it back. I go inverted. It's looking for the quickest way back to that 20 degree bank. Now, this actually is comes in really handy if the model flies off and you can't control it for some reason or your your transmitter fails or receiver fails if it stops receiving data it will go into this left bank and spiral down at a controlled airspeed and hopefully uh, 
not damage anything. I had an, a fly off this year with my timber, turbo timber over here, and I found it in a cornfield, undamaged. So it was missing a propeller, which explains why I couldn't get it to come back to me. But it was in a cornfield near the near the uh, flying site. So just sitting there on its wheels, right side up, undamaged, as if I had landed it myself. So anyway, now let's go talk about what settings it takes to make this happen on my NX-8. And it will be different if you have a different transmitter, but forward programming that we're going to do is pretty limited. So all we have to do is set up a switch and then go into forward programming and show or link that switch into forward programming so that we can turn safe on and off, AX3X on and off, and turn every, all the gyro settings off. Okay, let's venture into the transmitter and see if we can figure out how to set up a switch in the flight modes that we need to control those gyros. So, current configuration is the transmitter is off, the airplane is sitting over here behind it, all powered up, ready to go, but it's not going to go anywhere. So let's turn on the transmitter and first set up the switch we want to use. And you'll hear battery not charged, again handy to know. And here we are, ready to fly, but we're not going to fly today. First thing we're going to do is go to the menus and set up a switch. So we're going to go down to System Setup, down there. Yes, I'm sure. And we're going to go to Channel Assign. We're going to assign a open channel, the three on this airplane, Gear, AUX2, and AUX3. And I have assigned switch B, upper left-hand corner on this particular transmitter, to the gear channel. The gear is just a name for an open channel. The only channels here that you can change are the ones that are not marked NA. Those are all assigned to something else. So, I've assigned this to B if I wanted to make it C, which is... Another switch, which is right up here on top of the transmitter, I can do that, but I wanted to assign it to B, which is on the top and separate, separated from my uh, throttle cut switch. Because I wouldn't assign it to C because it's right next to the throttle cut. I wouldn't want to make that mistake. Okay, so we got that assigned. Now we have to set up a flight mode related to switch B, which is simple. You just go to flight mode. Move this to B, and you're done. So now you have a three-position flight mode set up on an open channel on switch B. Okay, go back to the main screen. Get the alarm again. Make sure that you have turned the engine on, or the uh, motor, and revved it up to at least 25% power, and then turned your your throttle cut to off, and we're going to go down, and that will enable you to get into forward programming. You won't see forward programming on here until you do that, until you arm AX3X and safe with uh, throttle up and then back, and make sure you turn the throttle cut off. And this is pretty simple. The only settings you can change without unlocking the receiver are gyro settings. So you don't have any choice here, you don't have any choice after that. The only thing you can change is safe select. And I have it set up this way. I've got the switch is in position two, which is flight mode three. I've got the channel is gear, switch B, and AX3X is off, safe is off, but safe select is on. The only thing I can change here is safe select. But I want safe select on, otherwise I will not be able to switch it. And I did bind the model with the standard safe select on, put the bind plug in, powered it up, took the bind plug out, and then bound it. I did not, however, attempt to use eFlight's system of using the... Uh, the controls in like so 
like that, and then flipping the switch back and forth to try to get safe select assigned to a switch. That's not necessary. Okay, so that's turned on. Now, if I just flip this switch to flight mode 2, position 1 on the switch, I've now got AX3X is on, and if I switch it and safe is off, and then if I flip it to position 0 on the switch, flight mode 1, safe is on. You don't really have to change anything here, except uh, you can change the channel, which is the gear, which is, again is assigned to switch B. And that's all you have to do. So if you want to, if you have a model that you're not sure of in terms of safe and AX3X, just select mode 3, the way I've programmed it, and you've got all of those gyros are inactivated. And launch it. Take it up to 200 feet or so, try it with AX3X, see if it behaves right. It should fly more stably, not less. And once you are satisfied that AX3X is working correctly, you have full control of the airplane, you might want to try to roll it and looping it. Make sure that's all working correctly. If it's not, you want to flip right back here quick and land it. So once you're happy that AX3X is working, then you go to safe mode and fly it in safe mode and make sure that you're happy with uh, the ability to control the airplane in safe mode. It should, uh, with uh, roughly 50% power, it should fly nice and level. You should be able to get about a 20 degree bank, maybe a little more. Uh, might depend a bit on where you've got the, uh, the rate set but should fly really nice in safe mode. I always land this sailplane in safe mode because of those long wings and no landing gear. You don't have to be too far off to cartwheel one of these. And with these concendos, that can uh, result very quickly in some damage because you've got that big heavy battery up front. And if it cartwheels and the nose strikes the ground, it can break the nose right off pretty easily because of that battery in there. So... Having said all of that, I hope you found this useful. Uh, I certainly have, and happy flying ahead this summer. Uh, hope you take this to heart, particularly if you have a new airplane that you're going to be taking out for the first time this summer, or probably a lot of you will. Uh, this is really, really comforting to know that you can launch that airplane without worrying about the gyros acting up, test them out, and then uh, bring it back in and land it safely even without the gyro. So have a great summer, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting out myself. The weather here in Indiana has been just awful. I've only flown, uh, I've only been out to the field twice since New Year's Day. We went out and flew on New Year's Day just for the heck of it. But uh, it's been rainy and cold and windy, and uh, looking forward to some better weather next week. It's supposed to warm up and calm down a little bit. So anyway, Hope that's helpful and uh, happy skies. Bye-bye.